right, this time on Red Dirt Diary, we're taking the fun way back from Melbourne to Sydney. And we've got a special guest with us this time. We've got Matt from Explore Life. Howdy, howdy. We've got tracks, snow, blue skies, and we're going snowboarding. We're going snowboarding. All right, let's get into it. Let's go. <laughs> 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 this trip we wanted to go on a bit more of an adventure on our way back home from Melbourne. The Barry Way is a 200 kilometer stretch of dirt road between Melbourne and Jindabyne. And at this time of year, you're guaranteed a winter wonderland. Part of the day, I'm filling up at a servo and there's literally just snow on the ground. It's the most bizarre thing. We're in Australia, bro. Vicky and I made it no secret that we were on the hunt for some snow, but this time we have a special guest with us, and I can promise you he begged us to join once he heard where we were going. We have a straggler. Who have we got here? Oh, howdy, howdy. How are we going, team? You're feeling the same way as I am. What have we got in store at the other end of this mountain driving? Obviously, we're not long after the Melbourne show, and there was talk of going for a snowboard trip. But I definitely think we're going the exciting way. I've never done proper wheeling in the snow, so uh, definitely smiles ear to ear. And uh, if we get to go for a rip after this, I'll be even happier. I'm excited to go snowboarding. I am a little bit out of my comfort zone with this one. I think, Reggie, you're gonna, it's your time to shine in this episode. I do have a notification on my Polaris that there's some snow over the road, so get ready to lock the hubs and we're going in for it. different experience from the beach and the bush, getting excited. The girls are dribbling, but uh, oh yeah, let's go. So Bridget and I had a huge plan. We wanted to take the back roads and find as much snow as possible, but I learnt very quickly that driving in snow is not as easy as once thought. No, go in. So we drove 10 meters into Matt's idea and it was terrible. So there was a track just further back here. It doesn't actually get us to the destination, but it did look a little bit cheeky and fun. So I'm a Queenslander, so my snow driving experience is about this many. Yeah. We probably should have brought someone who's got half a clue. Well, that is me, but you is guys it? don't want to stick to my plan. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to take the reins and force the other two to follow me and go where I want to go um, because so far it's not on. This track's not going to happen. There's no way. If Bree won't Too do it icy. in the patrol, yeah, if she won't do it in the patrol, then when I'm not going to do it in the Hilux. So we'll go back, we'll have a look at the other track, uh, and then maybe see if McKillop's Bridge is actually open. Be better really this time, mate, because that idea sucks. Yeah, just be better. The team had planned to follow the graded road into Jindabyne, but I thought we could find something a little bit better. So I'm pulling them off the beaten track to find something a little bit more difficult, and difficult is exactly what I got. Camera will never do this hill justice on just how steep and slippery it really is. And I tell you what, I'm starting to regret my decisions with taking this track. As I'm descending down this hill, I'm starting to notice the patrol isn't performing as usual. I'm sliding all over the place and my gearing feels off. I'm not quite sure what is going on yet, and further down this track I get, the less confidence I'm beginning to have. What are you looking at down there? The track? My problem is my weight, and as soon as I drop down uneven, my rooftop's just so top heavy, it's throwing me over a bit, so I'm scared that I'm gonna get on such a lean. I don't know. What's wrong, you sooky sooky lala? I'm being a sook. You're being the biggest sook. Breeze. Finally wheeling with a, a proper touring setup, canopy, rooftop tent, and she's not quite used to the uh, angles that you get on. It's something that does take time. 
So she's basically <laughs> turned to mush. And uh, like, this is a pretty hard track, don't get me wrong, but Bree's used to wheeling 10 times harder. Way lighter, but. You just gotta get, you just gotta get used to the different angles that your truck gets put on when you're wheeling with rooftop tents and, and heavy cars. Bring it down, let's go, I'll spot ya. I think she was going faster with the wheels locked and sliding than if she just let the gears do it, but she'll get the hang of it. Have I blown my front diff? Have I blown my front diff? And my hub's locked. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think we might have found Bree's problem. There's no drive in the front wheels, which is why she doesn't have that nice low reduction gear. We don't think her hubs are locked in. She's got new wheels. She hasn't taken the caps off, which I think we need an Allen key for. So she's been wheeling in two wheel drive. Ah, oh, yes. I literally just cried on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just had an anxiety attack for no reason because I put myself over. I never unlock my hubs. That's why I don't check, because they're always locked. Well, the boys were like, I don't know what's going on, but you made that look so much better than Brie. And I was like, oh, things are coming up for Britain. Like, maybe I'm learning. Who'd, like, little did you know, your hands are tied behind the back of the Bridget will make this look easy. You watch. Good, all comfy.
how you feel. <laughs> Better now. I am a little bit embarrassed, but I did say before that we're pretty honest and we put our mistakes online. Mm. Uh, it was about time I made one. Maybe I wish I didn't make one so embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, and got so I was just stressed the whole time. Yeah. So when then I, at that point I was so overwhelmed. Like, why am I struggling so much? Why is this so scary to me? And then I found that out, and everything's all good now. But it's humbling. We all make mistakes. Very humbling. <laughs> even the experienced wheelers. <laughs> But nonetheless, we got down here. I'm glad that there was just something wrong with your car, not something majorly right. wrong with your car. You know what I'm excited about? What? We've got the unleaded and diesel shirts coming out. <laughs> Lock your hubs in Lock shirts hubs. to come. Yeah, the Vicky edition. Lock your no, hubs. but look, mistakes happen. At least the car is okay. You are feeling more confident. You drove the rest of yeah. it really, really well from my amateur view. But we've rocked up to this amazing lunch spot. The sun has just popped mm. through, which has been very rare for today. We've got this amazing river behind us. How about we go down, check it out, give Vicky the breather that she needs, and then I'll cook her up some lunch. <laughs> and a gourmet lunch of meagre noodles. That was a great little detour. Uh, it was actually a good bit of wheeling, nice couple of little slippy bits on the way up. Uh, we got to watch you cry like a big girl and a uh, good little lunch spot, so happy day. It's always feels pretty good every time I get the Luxie to finish another track, something slippery. I've never done that before, so it was good learning for me. All right, well, I reckon it's time we find a campsite. Uh, we have a little bit to go before we get to the border, but I reckon we'll find something around the big border. I'll see you guys on the other side. That was terrible. That was terrible. safely gotten all of the cars out of the truck that broke Vicky, it's time to get to camp. The weather report says that snow is falling at a higher altitude of 1100. So the plan is to get into Mount Kosciuszko, find the biggest hill possible and camp on top of it. We finally found our winter wonderland. We made it through into Jindabyne. This place looks amazing. We pretty much have snow all around us. We're at the top of a hill. We've just caught it before the sun goes down. We're gonna make a fire, do a massive cook up and try to stay warm if we can tonight because at the moment I'm pretty sure my temp gauge said it was neg two or three. Yeah, so it's cold. It is fresh. All right, before we lose light, let's make a fire. Let's get warm. Set up camp. Yes. Did you buy wood? No, you didn't. I did. It's all good. <laughs>
All right, good morning. It is so cold this morning that we literally just got up. We didn't even cook brekkie because we're super excited to get into the tracks today. Um, we're on Nimmo Road is where we camped. Yeah. I looked on Hema last night and we found a few tracks that we're exploring now. We'll just scope out the area, have a little bit of fun down here and then see what we can find. We weren't that fortunate last night to have that much snow actually fall, but the thing is this place has turned into a massive mud pit. So we thought that we would just play around, find some tracks and see what trouble we can get Vicky into this time. inconvenient length for your car. Yeah. That's the problem. I wish you went first. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten out. You give it a crack. No. no. We've gone rogue. I don't know where we've ended up. But what I'll do is I'm gonna try to find the last point where we fell off the track and see if I can we can make it our own way, our own way of getting sort of back to there, but without backtracking exactly what we've done because that would be boring. So just give me five minutes and five minutes and fingers crossed that I can figure this out. Maybe we can make our own track straight up this hill that's in front of us. We might be able to link up to the main fire trail without having to go back through all that mud and down that really steep hill. Um, there's only one way to find out. It looks like a pretty clear path, so I think we just nose on up and see what's there. Looks like there's sort of a track there. If not, we're just going to have to double back, but, you know, as Bridget says, we're sharks, apparently. As Matt says, oh, Matt, are you a shark? Yeah, we don't, can't go backwards, we have to go forwards. Let's go to Carolina, we could start a new life. Already my best friend, don't you be my new wife. I don't like living, you don't have much to trust in. You're scared to love again, I don't want to miss the blessing. In Carolina. We've got a huge campsite planned for tonight. So we're gonna jump into town, get the gear that we need, and then find this unique camp spot. Because I think this is gonna be one of Red Dirt's best camp spots yet. Yes. Uh, what, Vicky's got car problems? I'm just kidding. In Red Dirt fashion, something always has to go wrong. Alright, well this is an island bend. We didn't camp last night. We we're actually in the middle of Jindabyne. What happened? I ran into a few issues with the patrol, so we actually had to cut and peel from that. The lucky bastard's up at Parachute at the moment, snowboarding, and we're down here with this thing. My car isn't running right. Altitude can affect your tunes, and this isn't tuned properly at the moment either, so it does make sense while I was missing and carrying on. I also need to go buy some beer, because I just need a cardboard box to put it from my radiator. I never thought I would say, Let's I'd get the patrol hot. Let's get the patrol hot. I <laughs> yeah. never thought I'd struggle to keep a TD hot, but that's my issue. I think I'm gonna leave this car parked up for the rest of the weekend. I don't wanna take it back up in that altitude. Um, so trusty little Hilux, Bridge is gonna get excited about this, because we're done with the cars. We're going Bullshit. snowboarding. Ah! I've been waiting for this moment to come. I'm sad that it's come early because the patrol is sick. 
It's going to be a bit of bush mechanics in a car park, but it wouldn't be red dirt if things didn't go wrong. But anyway, fingers crossed that we we have a mint end of the day with some snowboarding. You'll love it. Yeah. All absolutely. right, let's fix the patrol. Let's go. afternoon to head out for a board but this is probably the end of the patrol in this episode. Sad days. We're going. Finally going snowboarding. I know this feels kind of weird to be going up the mountain with you but god I'm I'm really excited. No I'm excited even though it meant my car dying when we we're doing this earlier. It is fine. With the two years we've been talking about doing this. Yeah two years. years. Day. I know COVID's let us down now the patrol but lucky I have a high luck because I think the Hiluxes are what dreams are made of right now, Brie. Plot twist, fingers crossed. We run into Matt. Ho we'll, hopefully, I'm thinking we might even run into Sam Miles. He's here as well. And a couple of other friends that we've got. So we'll see who we can find and we'll see what we can do with Brie. Yeah, let's get into it. Oh shit, let's go. Ride, just go, go for us. Just fly down. Do you reckon this is how Vicky feels when she's spotting me wheeling and I'm taking a really, really long time? And she's like, I just wanted to hurry up and get this so that I could do something. Now the roles are reversed and I'm having to teach her. And I absolutely hate it. Oh. Who are you even? Tired? <laughs> I've done three days of this. I'm wrecked. I don't know if you guys can recognize by the sound of his voice, but that's Sammy. Yeah, oh, yeah. first time in the snow. Love it. You're gonna teach me something? Uh it'd be more <laughs> like you teaching me. I have a small feeling that that's my makeup. Stay over it. Alright, let's get the bread now that we're all together. If you guys are local to here, I'm hungry. If you it's such guys, a hot day, it's so good. It's such a hot day. If you guys are local to here, we're gonna do roller coasters now that we're all together and I've gotten rid of my ball and chain Vicky. Oh, let's go. As I'm getting up. Yuck. Diesel, this hose, petrol, this hose. Get off the vape, you think. You see me trying to vape. I suck at it. Can't do it. Bluebirds, and we're going to. Like, we're going to. Um, <laughs> this is why you build a trundle drawer that suits nothing but putting snowboards in. Uh, us real four-wheel drivers have, you know, camping and touring stuff in our cars. You wouldn't read about it. Alright, so this... The week, that was weak. This is an... Ah, uh, different wording. Bro, I'm going to punch you in the face. My car's... <laughs> Bye. 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 I heard it. <laughs> Is it quiet? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> By absolute coincidence and nothing else, I happen to be riding a chair with Sam's brother. What's your name, Sam's brother? Uh, Tom. This, this is Tom Isles. Uh, and and what what brings you here? Um, yeah, obviously here with your the brother. The sun, the warm weather, the beaches. Are you doesn't moved? have have white beaches like this. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of water in the ocean today, hey. I could do with the swimmer, I'm a bit sweaty. That's cute. I just dropped the GoPro and it's got all of the in car on it. Having the a island boys getting their nipples out. Two, Two one. one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, guys, that's a wrap on another episode from RDD. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Who's keeping on the hot right, Let's go. Yeah.